Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Keep Learning. Today we are going to learn the topic Use Telnet and SSH. You will get practice resources under the description. Here we are going to learn that how to check that DHCP is enabled or not in your system, Telnet or SSH facility is available or not, and which command is used to connect the Telnet and SSH. This is the lab scenario. Here we can see that one router which is a headquarter is connected with the internet and it is connected with the computer 1 and computer 2. Let us perform the experiment. From the description you will get these three files. This file is basically the practice file. Let double click on this Cisco packet tracer file. You need a Cisco packet tracer software to perform this experiment. This window is a PT activity window where you get all the instruction to perform the experiment and this window where you can perform the experiment. So now let us split the window so you can perform the experiment easily. First of all you can go to the option you can set your user profile you can write your name you can write your email id you can write the additional info date time and click on ok so by this way you can create your user profile now let us perform the experiment here the part one is verify the connectivity so we are going to verify the connectivity between these devices so first question is that pc has an ip address from dhcp so what command did you use to verify the IP address from the DHCP? So in any system, if you want to check the DHCP is available or not, how can you check? So you can check by the command. You can check the ipconfig command or you can check the ipconfig slash all command. Let us see. Go to the computer. Go to the desktop go to the command prompt and write down the ip config command you can get the detail of ip address you can get the detail of uh, gateway and you can get other details but you cannot get the detail of dhcp so to get the detail of dhcp use the command so by this command you will get the detail of subnet mask default gateway DHCP server and many more detail. So to get the detail about the DHCP server you need to use the ipconfig slash all command. Please remember this. So now let us check for the another computer. I will go to the PC0. I will go to desktop command prompt and I will use the same command. So again by this command we can get the detail of DHCP server. That means yes, DHCP server is available and IP address is 192.168.1.1. Now verify the connectivity with the headquarter. So what you can do, you can ping from this computer to headquarter. But to make a ping, you need an IP address of this headquarter. So here from this table, you can get the detail of IP address of headquarter. So here IP address of headquarter is 64. 1001.1. So I will go to the computer. I will go to the command prompt and I will use the command ping and then IP. So by making ping command, I can check the connectivity. So correct. I can get the reply. So that means it is a connectivity between a computer one and headquarter. Now I will ping from computer zero. I will use the command prompt. Dot one zero zero dot one dot one. So again, I am able to ping the headquarter. That means computer zero is also connected with the headquarter. So this is how you can check for the DHCP detail or you can check the connectivity with the remote devices. Now in part two, we are going to learn that how to connect to a remote device or how to access to a remote device. So there are two ways. One is a telnet facility other is a SSH facility. So in computer either tunnel will be there or SSH will be there. 
So telnet and SSH both can be checked by the command like telnet then IP address of the headquarter and here by the command SSH dash admin and then IP address of the headquarter. You can go to the computer, you can go to command and write down the IP address and command. So command is a telnet to check the telnet facility. Telnet 64.1001.1. So here I get the information like connection to 641001.1 is closed by foreign host. That means there is no facility of telnet available. So let us check for the SSH. So SSH dash L admin then 64.100.1.1. So now here it is asking for password that means there is a SSH facility available. So password is given in the manual in the instruction file. So you can get the password which is class CLASS type that password and then click OK. So now you are connected with the headquarter this HQ that means it is the window of headquarter you can perform the different operation over here you can execute this kind of command. So that's how our experiment get complete. We learn how to identify the DHCP service, how to check the connectivity, how to check the facility of telnet or SSH is available or not. By using the different command for a telnet and SSH, you can check it. Now by click on this check result, you can check your result. So overall feedback, is on completing assessment I get one out of one mark that means a full mark and there is a no connectivity test so that's it you can do the practice thank you hope you like my video if you have any question or doubt please write down in the comment we will meet in the next session thank you bye bye